I think it's very similar to the ugly veg syndrome where you you know you go to the market and you'll look at all your vegetables and you'll pick the vegetable that looks the most perfect and I think with wine we've come to sort of I don't know almost like an aesthetic agreement that wine should be clear and pristine and and bright in a way I think we place too much importance on on the appearance of wine or the color of wine or whether it's troubled or limpid or and we need to move 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 beyond that and just focus on you know the really gorgeous aromas that all these these wines have they're both natural one is is it's clearer than the other one but they they haven't been fine filtered so people have, have waited until all the sediment sort of settles naturally and i mean you know obviously there's a bit more cloudiness than they would be in in in, in processed manufactured wines but so fucking what? I think these, to me, they look fantastic. It's like you know these wines have bits floating in them. So what? You know, it's like it's nutritious. It's full of goodness. Um, this has not been filtered. It's not been fined. There might be a bit of sediment. It really doesn't mean anything. You know, they haven't been tampered with. They're very raw. They're really delicious. They're very alive. You know, the problem is that we've removed aliveness out of wine and we've now focusing on monotonous flavours and it's a bit like, I don't know, playing music out of one note. That's a bit like what modern wine, modern wine tastes like at the moment. Whereas these are funky, they've got all sorts of stories to tell. They're very individual, you can pick them out. To my mind this is pretty clear but you know, if you were at a competition and somebody saw this and they were not used to tasting natural wines, they'd say, oh my god, what is what is this? There's a slight haze um, and some people are worried because they think that that haze means the wine's unstable. This has been open for 10 days, just like that, left on the side of my table. And now it's just becoming really, really um, smoky. I can't quite remember what it is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So vibrant, mineral, zingy, full of weight, smokiness. That's very good. And this is the same as it's been open um, for over a week now. They're almost like untouched. And they're little treasures that are waiting to be discovered. But in a way, it's a bit like you know, if you buy a loaf of bread, which is just like pure, plain, boring white flour and all soft and you you know it kind of stays squeegee and soft for like days uh, versus you sort of, I don't know, kind of more, you know, the sourdough, the sort of more real stuff, it's crusty, it's got personality, um, you know, that's what these wines are, they are in a way they're the sourdough of the, of, the, of the bread world, they've got that extra yeastiness, they've got that extra dimension, that extra personality which is individual to where they come from. These guys, everything they do, every piece of, of elements of terroir, of soil, of, of, of weather or whatever is translated into, into that. And to me they're perfect, to many people they are imperfect. I think perfection is really um, flirting with fault, it's really having um, some quirkiness and that's perfection, it's like that's the same reason why human beings are so be you know, beautiful because of all their quirks and their different personalities and wine's the same. You never get bored with these wines because they never taste the same. So remarkable and, and so perfect in their imperfection. This is really exciting stuff. Cloudy! Not cloudy. Frankly, who gives a damn? They're both delicious wines. Stop worrying about appearances. Mm -hmm.